Why, hello, folks. It's time for another Helminth build guide. Always exciting when I can bring uh, a new one of those uh, to you people uh, in my quest to, to innovate basically every Warframe on the entire roster. We'll go through them one by one. one. Like, eventually, I'll, I'll have done build guides for, for all of them. And today, we're gonna, we're, just, well, we're gonna do something with Meaty Boy. <laughs> we're gonna do something with Grendel. Now, Grendel is might be the least played Warframe in the entire game. And there is this misconception about Grendel that he's bad. <laughs> which is like, no, he is not bad at all. Um, in fact, he's very, very good. I think the misconception like comes from the play rate, maybe. But like the reason why people don't play Grendel is because Grendel is a g goddamn nightmare to farm for. Um, unless, hey, unless you use m my guide. Did you know I have put out what I claim to be the absolute best guide in the world for solo farming Grendel. You can do it so easily. You use Hildren. So you gotta have a Hildren and you gotta have access to the Helmand system to really take advantage of my guide. But if you... I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw up a link to it. If you follow this guide, if you have been putting it off for months and you haven't gotten Grendel yet because you just don't want to farm for Grendel, just follow this guide, you'll have him in a jiffy. Like, it's just you can get him immediately. Just no problem whatsoever. It's so easy. Do not worry about it. It's not gonna be hard. It's gonna, it's gonna be so, so easy. So, go get yourself a Grendel and then check this out. So... What I'm doing with this build is, uh, as far as I can see, no one has been using uh, this synergy yet in any sort of build guides out there for Hel uh, for Grendel. I got a tip from Reddit about uh, this uh, interaction between abilities and I had to try it out. And, oh my god, it's strong. Oh my god, it's strong. So, currently, I think the most popular infusion out there for Grendel would be Fire Blast. And the argument being that... Yeah, sure, you armor strip enemies with his number one, but it's too slow. You want to armor strip enemies immediately. I don't want to wait 10 seconds for the enemies in my belly to die. I want them to die now, which is... I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that mindset at all. I really don't, because you just... It's not like you're just sitting around doing nothing while you're waiting for armor to be stripped from enemies, right? You're just running around and eating more enemies while the enemies are stewing and brewing inside your gullet. <laughs> so, so who cares? Who cares if the armor is stripped in 5 seconds or 10 seconds or 1 second? It just doesn't matter. So, I'm gonna call the, the Fire Blast build a bit of a simulacrum build. It's a build you use to show off how you can kill enemies quickly inside the simulacrum but outside in like real missions it's just not it's just not that impactful right i don't see it as like being particularly useful so we're gonna go with something different here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, it's a classic i've done it in a couple of different builds we're gonna use breach surge and the reason for that is because it's it's kind of a nifty ability in that like People think it's OP or something and put it on everything. No, it's not. Uh, it's just it's very good on a select few warframes and on other warframes it's kind of garbage. It doesn't do any damage at all. Well, not so for Grendel. We'll get to that. I'll also say, just so people know, I've invested heavily in this build. So this is a 7-4 uh, my <laughs> Grendel build. You don't have to go that hardcore uh, with it if you don't want to. Um, I I enjoy having, uh, you know, a maxed out efficiency for this build. Because we are going to be heavily, heavily taking advantage of his first ability, Feast. You know why? Because his first ability, Feast, is stupid. It's absolutely stupid. It's one of the dumbest, stupidest abilities that they've ever put on any Warframe. It's insane okay so like ah uh, i saw a video out there unfortunately by like tactical potato well i get it he's not a grendel main and he you know he's looking at it a little bit but like he's talking about grendel as if grendel is kind of like an inaros it's a tank who doesn't have any good abilities and it's like oh my god nothing could be further from the truth 
Uh, Grendel has a bunch of... Fan- Grendel has like one bad ability, number three, and that's the one we replaced. No one ever uses his number three, but the rest is, the rest is actually good. We'll go over it. We'll go over it, and and then I'll show you the wacky shit we can do with Breach Surge, okay? Number one, let's pull out some Corpus enemies, right? Uh, let's, let's, yeah, Corpus Tech, woo! 20 of them, bam, simulate, level 180. Now, Grendel has an ability called Feast. Here's how it works, check it out. You eat all the enemies, then you spit them out. Oh, I'm sorry. Did someone say that Grendel didn't have any good abilities? <laughs> it's like, it's dumb. It's stupid. So, <laughs> here's what Feast does, okay? Here's what makes it stupid. Here's what makes it stupid. And like, that's not Helmet, that's just Feast. That's just what Feast does, with like 200% abilities ranked, okay? Ah, Feast, you eat enemies. They stay in your belly. You armor strip them while they're in your belly. Doesn't matter for Corpus, because Corpus doesn't have any armor. When it spits out the enemies, it deals toxin damage, and it also hits enemies with a guaranteed toxin proc, which is like damage over time. The enemy scales based on how many... Or like the damage scales based on how many enemies are inside of his gut. So the more enemies you swallow and then spit them out, the more damage it does. And as part of the equation, it scales based on enemy level. That means that Grendel is one of those hallowed warframes out there that has infinitely scaling damage. This is gonna kill enemies just as fast no matter what level they are. You can you can hit like a level 1 corpus enemy or you can hit a level 5000 corpus enemy and they're both gonna die just as fast from this, which means like immediately if you if you swallow up enough enemies. Now, that's corpus enemies. Uh, because this is toxin damage. Toxin damage ignores shields, but it does not ignore armor. That's why this ability, because it's stupid, it also armor strips. It's just that it doesn't kill enemies immediately. It takes about 10 seconds to kill uh, an armored enemy, because that's how long it takes to strip them of their armor. I will show you. If I do <laughs> the thing I just did with Feast... And spit them out immediately, it's not gonna work. Check it out. I eat them, and I spit them out. Nope, it didn't do that much damage, because they are armored. Still did some damage, right? But not that much because they're armored. So what you gotta do is... Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. And then wait, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that kills them because now they don't have any armor. Now the problem here, obviously, is that the energy drain on this thing gets quite insane uh, because it drains more energy the more enemies you have in your belly. So having a bunch of enemies in your belly for a long time means, you know, I'm gonna drain energy very fast. That is why, you know, for this build, like, I'm using a max rank arcane energize. I'm running at maximum efficiency to, to minimize the drain. I still use primed flow as well to get a bigger energy pool. This boy is energy hungry, but it's justified because feast is the dumbest fucking ability in the entire game. Okay, now, on to his next couple of abilities. Uh, his number two and his number four, they require you to have enemies in your belly to work. So first you gotta eat some stuff. His number four, you turn yourself into a cool rollerball. You can roll around and hit enemies. You can ran, run into them, right? This one requires the augment to actually be any good. Like, it, it doesn't do any damage at all against armored units, but it actually does pretty decent damage uh, on, an, un, on enemies that are not armored. Um, scales uh, in like range and damage based on how many enemies you have in your belly. Caps out at 10, so if you're gonna do a rollerball build, you only need to have 10 uh, enemies in your belly. 
And with the augment, you can click your middle mouse button to, uh, woo, to launch yourself. Which actually makes this ability uh, pretty fun for low-level content, which is why I haven't replaced this. Uh, it makes it so that you can actually uh, traverse the, the map quite fast. And if you get the hang of it, uh, you could actually use it as a pretty fun way of just, you know, going through the entire map. Uh, don't see the reason to replace that one, because it's fun. Um, if you're not doing, like, long endurance runs and stuff, it's it's kind of great. Um, if you're not fighting Grunir Corrupted, it's, it's kind of great. It's just, you know, if you're going to do Steel Path, Endurance, Kuva, Fortress, or whatever, you're not going to use it. But, hey... It's still good, so keep the number four ability. Number three ability is the worthless one. You can you can ditch that one. You fire a projectile from your belly at an enemy. That's useless. Now, number two ability also requires you to have enemies in your belly to work. You have a couple of different buffs that you can cycle between. Nourished armor doesn't actually give you armor. <laughs> Uh, so it's it's kind of a dumb name. Uh, it makes it so that um, enemies who attack you take toxin damage. It's garbage. It's useless. You don't ever have to use it. The damage is laughable. Number two, Nourished Strike. It adds a damage multiplier to certain attacks, certain abilities. It's a bit wonky in how it works. It's hard to know in advance what it's going to apply to, what it's not going to apply to. Um, but like, hey, hey, man, it's got we got some synergies here, because guess what it does? Guess what it does synergize with it? It kind of synergizes with breach surge. So what nourish strike does is it kind of just it's like you add a toxin damage mod on top of certain attacks and certain abilities. It seems to 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 function together with like elemental abilities. And breach surge does radiation damage, so it is like elemental damage and that that's kind of what sort of like just seems to work. It's kind of cool. Um now, breach surge. It adds a blind effect to enemies. Okay. It makes it so that when you fire at attacks at them it sends out little sparks that bounce around with damage multipliers on them based on the damage you did and the whatnot. It's kind of wonky, kind of weird to figure out how to get it to work with different builds. But, like I said, uh, it does synergize with um, uh, Nourish Strike and it does synergize with Feast. Now, here is the cool thing. When you apply... Breach Surge. There's a small window. There's a window of like a second. A second and a half. Something like that. Where it just gets applied to everything around you. So what you want to do for this to work. Is you want to stuff a bunch of enemies inside your belly. And you want to apply your Nourish Strike. So that when you spit them out. They'll get the damage multiplier on the, on the toxin damage. And then right before you spit them out, you cast Breach Surge, and then immediately, immediately after casting Breach Surge, you spit them out, which you do by holding your number one button instead of tapping it. So, if you do it wrong, it's not gonna work. This is what it looks like when you do it wrong. You eat all the enemies. You apply Nourish Strike. You cast Breach Surge. Wait a second or two, and then spit them out. It doesn't work. Now, they, they still died, because I had them in my belly for too long, so I stripped too much of their armor. Let's do it a bit faster. Let's do it a bit faster, so I can show you when it doesn't work. We gotta be quick about this, because Grand... Look at number one ability so fucking good. Ah, oh, I don't understand how Tactical Potato can say that Grendel doesn't have any good abilities. Mm. It's okay, it's okay. He gets so many things right all the time. I'm he he can get he can get a thing wrong. <laughs> I also get things wrong. Okay. Here we go. So we eat the stuff. We cast nourish strike. We catch breeze surge. Wait a bit too long and spit them out. So you know, they still take a decent amount of chunky damage 
from um, from Feast together with Nourish Strike. Still wasn't exactly enough to kill them. And oh, that's what people hate, man. They hate having to have enemies in your belly for five seconds. They know they want one second. Otherwise, it's not good. <laughs> well, now we're gonna do it the right way. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this lovely little synergy. We're gonna do it the way we're supposed to do it. So we're gonna we're gonna num 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 num. Okay, and then we cast nourish strike and then breach surge and immediately spit them out. Oh yeah! And you got your surge sparks doing the job for you because them surge sparks. They're, they they take the damage from those toxin ticks and applies the uh, breach surge damage multiplier to that, bouncing around, smacking enemies around you with a whole bunch of damage. So you spit out the enemies, uh, everything around you gets like stunned and blinded, you get these little uh, dots flying around just smacking everything for like millions and billions of damage, and because of how Feast works, this is never gonna stop scaling. No matter how high the the level gets, it's just never ever gonna stop scaling. <laughs> the damage is gonna be there forever. So that's super cool. You use your number one, your number two, and your number three ability when playing high level content. And you use your number one and your number four ability when you play low level content. And you just got a, you got a complete kit. You got an entire kit of stuff. Which is great! It all works together. So... When it comes to survivability, um, he's got a lot of things going for him. He is super tanky. He's got a pretty decent armor value as it is. And his passive, his passive is also great for survivability. His passive makes it so that he gets bonus armor the more enemies you have stored in your belly. So 20 enemies in your belly is like a plus 1000 armor. It's, it's great. It's great for survivability. Also have an Arcane Grace for a, uh, a bit of nice healing. Umbral Vitality to just get a big chunky health bar. And the fact that he, unlike Inoros, who doesn't have any shields, he has a teeny tiny teeny tiny little shield, which is actually kind of great. Uh, because that means that he has a very easy time uh, taking advantage of shield gating. To get those like moments of uh, immortality whenever like his shield gets popped and then you know you regenerate it instantly. Uh, to that effect, I'm using brief respite in the uh, aura mod slot, so that just casting abilities uh, gives me uh, gives me shields back. So I just I just regenerate my shield gate immediately. Um, what you can also do um, if you don't have like an arcane energize or something like that. And you're worried about um, managing your energy. Hunter Adrenaline is a great mod you can put on Grendel. Um, so that, like, since he does, has very low shields, right? So he takes a lot of just damage to his health. Uh, which means you can use this mod to uh, regenerate energy. I'm not using it in this build. I don't think I need to use it in this build. I haven't had any energy problems. Um, just because, hey... Nourished energy, another one of his buffs. Um, it, it is a buff that makes... I didn't even talk about that one, I forgot about it because I was so excited about the other ones. Nourished energy. Here, this one. It is a buff that increases the energy he gets from energy pickups or abilities and stuff uh, multiplicatively. So, um, he just gets... So much energy back from energy orbs or whatever while this buff is active. That combined with arcane energize, it's like just whenever you spit out a bunch of enemies, uh, you just get a bunch of energy orbs and you just refill. So it's fine. And like, yeah, that that's about it. This build can go places. So like it, it can clear high level content. Uh, it can clear low level content very fast. Um, Infinitely scaling damage people it is not to be taken lightly. Hey, man Hey, man Grendel's cool and Grendel's really fun to use and he's super different and whenever you want to You can just become a ball and then you can go around and do ball things Which is great right Super cool and you can eat enemies and he sounds disgusting when he does it 
Everything about him is the best. <laughs> no, he's fun. He's fun and he's good. So, um, I hope I uh, piqued uh, some interest in people here for just playing with Grendel. And like I said, I have put out the guide. I have put out the guide for how to farm for Grendel. The most problem-free, the most hassle-free, the, the easiest time you could possibly have. Let's get these play rates up. Let's let's get people playing the chunky boy because he is so goddamn cool and he's really good. He's really good. So give him a chance, people. Grendel. Grendel, look at him. Look at him. He's oh man, he's he's thick. That boy's thick. We like a good thick boy, don't we? Yeah, we do. Anyway, that's the build. I will see you guys tomorrow for something completely different. <laughs>